What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to Forza Horizon 4 and another wheel spin drift build. Uh. Can you guys notice, by the way, how much I love winter by the amount of videos that I'm uploading on this game on the channel? I kind of, I tried to avoid it as much as I possibly could, like some project cars, taking like a day break or two, stuff like that. Like I'm just ignoring this. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finally make a video. And yes, it's a wheel spin drift build. I kind of like wheel spin drift builds. They're nice, they're random. I get to just see if I can drive some crazy random cars and then build them for drifting. So that's what we're doing here. Wheel spin. I'm going to use a normal wheel spin for the first one here. Hopefully I get something interesting. Obviously whatever car I get, I have to build. And then my budget for the build will have to be... That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Ford Falcon GT. Uh, let's collect this thing. It's worth 30 grand. Let's collect this car. Already have it anyway, but at least this one's gonna be completely stuck. Uh, Ford. Ford Falcon. Okay. Nice. A little bit of a Aussie build for today's video. It's already very, very good on power and torque and all that, but uh, it does weigh quite a bit. And obviously, we can definitely have this thing with some drift suspension and all that stuff. It looks so good. Looks really, really good. Rear wheel drive, Ford, supercharged. Big saloon. I like it. Alright, what is this like to drive? Just what I expected it to be like. Lots of torque, very easy to spin those rear wheels. I knew oversteering for this thing was not going to be a problem whatsoever. I didn't realize this thing weighed so much though. 1.8 tons. Oh my god. What's the interior look like of this? Ooh, fancy. Alright. I still don't like that entire center bit there. Like the, the center concept just reminds me of like very cheap Fords. I don't know why. It still reminds me of like Ford Focus or something like that. It's just, I, I, I hate that. That bit in the center. You know, it has a big fancy screen at the top of it. I, I just don't like that. Yeah, I, I, like, I, like I was saying, like with this thing, it's just, it's, I knew it was going to be easy to like just get it to oversteer. Um, I was going to say, it's not that I don't have a lot of control with it. It's just that a little bit less weight would be perfect for this thing. And then obviously the drift suspension and. And all that are going to help out a ton. Uh, well, we'll have to see because I need to see what sort of uh, money I'm going to get for this. Because I still have to pick a budget out. So I have to get a budget for this thing. I have to spin the wheel spin again. I swear to God, if I get 5k, I mean, it's, it's pretty much over. I can't really do anything. I generally can't do much with 5,000 credits for this thing. I don't even know how much drift suspension is. I don't know how much that costs. Well, here's an incredibly sloppy and terrible run. Still squeezed out 225,000 points. Again, not a slow car by any means. It's a nice car to drive. It genuinely is. Like, I just really hope, like I said, that I don't end up um, getting 5,000. Please, game. Just give me something nice. Should I do it? If I get a car, I, I can sell it and I'll use that budget. Oh! <laughs> uh. What am I supposed to do with it? I generally cannot do anything. Can I buy any part with 2,000 credits? What, what, what can I possibly buy with 2,000 credits? What, what can I do here to get this thing to drive better? I, I don't even know. It's literally 2,000. I can get this thing to be slightly lighter. That's, that's pretty much it. My drift suspension is completely useless to me. I can't even buy it, can I? It's 2,050. It's 50 off my actual budget. Are you mad? A diff? I can't even buy a diff. 
It unlocks acceleration and differential tuning. 1,500. I could possibly do this. I don't know. The diff is actually kind of fine on this thing. It, it drives it drives fine. Maybe some weight reduction. 1,550. And then just change track width, maybe, with the last, last little bit of money that I have. That's probably what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. There's nothing else I can think of to do to this thing. I don't need more power in it. I just need it to handle a little bit better, and that's that's pretty much it. I cannot believe I got 2k. I can't believe I got 2,000. Like, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I will do weight reduction for this thing. So we'll do this one. It drops almost 200 kilos off of it, which is fine. I'll go to this and I'll change my track weight because this was... Is this be enough? Is this going to be enough? I, I don't even know if it's going to be enough. Tire compound. I obviously can't do any of that. I'm trying to think here. What can I possibly do to, to improve this to get it be better? 750. That's 1,500. 700. Like, with literally 300 and or 450, I cannot do anything. To this thing, except for doing track with. I'll do it. I will do track with. Um, here, I'll do it on the front. 300, and then 200 on the rear. There we go. Is there anything in the tuning that I can possibly do to this thing? Can I at least adjust something on it? Or is everything literally locked? It's all locked. <laughs> everything is fully locked on this thing. So, uh, I don't really want to do anything else. There's nothing really crazy I can change on it. I can't believe I got 2k for my build, for my wheel spin drifter. Should be a little better though. To drive with 200 extra kilos taken off of it. We're going downhill still, so it's not going to be like... Uh, it's not going to be like going uphill, it's just going to... This thing is we'll definitely struggle going uphill. I mean, again, I can't really do much with the tune of this thing. I don't really care about having the, the wheels lose more traction or whatever. It's... I think it's fine the way it is now. It's just handling-wise, I wish I could have... I wish I could have tuned it a little bit more. Actually, that might be a good idea. I'll bring the PSI and the tires up. I'll bring it to like 48, 49 or something like that. There we go. I'll do that. And then I'll restart the run. See if I can get the rear wheels to spin a little bit easier. Maybe in third or something like that. I don't know how much that's going to help us, but... Let's just see. Let's just see. It helps a tiny bit. Why am I trying to hold handbrake like as if I'm on drag tires? This thing. I think second is fine for it. I don't think I'll be able to do third for most of these runners, so I'm just gonna probably stick to second. These longer corners are gonna suck. The tight ones should be fine. See what I mean? Like third. Feels like it doesn't want to lose traction. Pretty easy to slide. It's, it honestly feels like every other German saloon with a big engine in it. Feels just like them to drive. A little bit all over the place with this, like going around and oversteering is perfectly fine with it, but trying to get it to 
to actually drift. Not amazing. Man, see, if it was just, if it consisted more of these like tighter corners, I think it would have been much, much better. There you go. I absolutely smoked my initial run because I was just a bit too tame with it the first time around when I went down. And it's night time again! I love when it's night time and I go on this map. 258,000 points. Let's just get that over with. That was terrible, right? We, we barely got any money for that. Let's do another wheel spin. I'll choose just a normal wheel spin again. I might regret this once again from getting just absolutely nothing. Uh, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna spin again. I need to get a car. I, I can't. I can't just have a. I can't just have money. Cause that doesn't really mean anything. Cool. More money. Come on, game. Give me a car. Give me a car. Hopefully, something I can use. This. Hopefully, something that I haven't done yet. Oh my god! Couldn't have given me this when I was doing the actual money getting part of my budget wheel spin. No. No. Okay. Cool. I'm stuck here spinning this. It's just not giving me a car. See why I do like super wheel spin a lot more often? I feel like it's just so much better doing those. If I don't get anything in the next two spins, I'm, I'm changing super wheel spins. Last one. Come on, game. Don't tempt me here. I'm just gonna go to super wheel spins if you don't give me anything. Okay, super wheel spins it is. Come on. Give me something nice here. Give me a 4 GT. How fun would that be? Turn that into a drift car. A Bentley Bentayga drift car. We got a big budget as well. There's 20 grand from that, plus however much the TTS is uh, as well. So I'm going to collect prize. Uh, I'm going to add the Bentayga to my garage. That's 46 grand as our budget. And we have a Bentayga to, to mess around with. This is gonna be kind of fun, I think. I think this should be kind of fun. Uh, both of these are stuck. I'm just gonna choose this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm honestly very, very interested to see how this is gonna turn out. Uh, big luxury SUV. I'm gonna get this thing to slide. I wonder if I can put Drifter Special on it. I don't think it's... Will I be able to? Does this have a V8 or does this have the W12 in it? Um, my, oh, is it just in my cars? It is. Uh, six liter. So it's got the W12 in it. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Um, right. I mean, it has grip. It's a big luxury SUV. Keeping this all wheel drive though. So it's more than enough power to do anything. It immediately wants to catch grip, so that the diff and everything, just the way this thing is set up, is obviously not made to do any of this, but the initial kick is fine. Like the initial kick when I try to get the back out and stuff like that is perfectly fine. It loves doing it. It's very, very easy to get a sideways, but. Then it just wants to catch grip immediately, and then just drive in a straight line. See? I, like I just did there. Like, I'm trying to still steer in, so I can keep more angle, but it's just, it's like, nope. We're straightening up. Trying to mess with the balance of this thing. I just absolutely... Ruin it. Come on. Get this transition. This might actually be kind of fun to all wheel drift, but again, I need to change a bunch of stuff on it. Diff, suspension, tires. I think power wise, this is perfect. I definitely don't need more power. I think even weight is fine. I think I can handle the weight. I think it's just definitely diff, tires, and suspension. Two hundred and twelve thousand points in a luxury SUV. Okay. Um, that's not it. Go to the festival. Right, forty-six thousand to mess around with. 
Hmm. I think we can do a lot of 46 cells. What's this? The stupid wide body thing. Ugh, yuck. That's just awful looking. Um, right. I want to change my diff. 100%. want to change that. I want to also change suspension. Put rally suspension on it. Uh, which I'm going to do because that is probably the next best thing from drift suspension. I think I have a little bit more steering angle with rally suspension. So it's 4,300 that we have. Um, again, more suspension stuff. I think I'm just going to buy this. So now we're at 8,100. Uh, we can probably get this thing to be nice and light. 2.4 tons. With an extra 2,350, we can get this thing to be really light, which is good. Um, my tires, I can go for uh, drag tire compound. This might actually be very, very good. If I pick these for staying sideways. Since a lot of people do their, their point builds with these tires. I feel like this thing with this power and weight that it has now. I feel like these tires should be good for it. Um, okay. It's 20 grand gone. I still have another 26 grand to, to play around with. I think I can still do quite a bunch of stuff to, uh, to this thing. Do I need to do anything else? I'll change all this stuff. Why not? Because it can. I feel like it's only going to add an extra, what, 8 grand? 7 grand. Um, my tire width, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Uh, I could probably change wheels, get these things to be a little lighter. Or a lot lighter. No? I guess not. Everything's everything's lighter. Or not everything's lighter. Everything's heavier. Or the same weight. I guess the last thing I can possibly do here is literally just add more power. That is literally it. I can just add a little bit more power. I change my brakes. Do I want to do that? It's not like it's going to do much, to be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, a little bit more power. Why not? How much are turbos? 5,000? I could probably literally max this thing out. Should I? Let's do it, because I think I have the money to do it. Ooh, do I have the money to do it? That's 47,000. I need, what, 46? 4, 45,450. That's exhausting. 46,700. 46,050. <laughs> uh... 46,100. What can I possibly change to that? Maybe? Uh, I think we're pretty much done, right? Is, is there anything for 1100 that I can change here? Maybe flywheel. Flywheel should actually help quite a bit, right? I'll do that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. I think that should be good. I think that should be quite good on this thing. Uh, should I just take it down like this or should I add a basic to it? I'll change. I'll leave camber and everything the way it is. This thing's got eight gears. Not a big fan of that. I'm going to go ahead and lower my ride height all the way. Um, my diff, obviously. You know the drill. To this. I'm going to make this also slightly more. Well, not slightly, but a lot more. Rear bias, which should help me a lot. Actually, we'll do 85%. We're we'll going to start off with that. Um, I still have to figure out how to tune the camber and toe with this thing, see what that's like. And then, obviously, uh, main and most important thing. I left the, the standard... I left the standard... The, um, what do you call them? Oh, yeah, the transmission needs to be changed. That's awful. Interesting. Oh yeah, I left the spring rates and all that, by the way. Very, very soft. That's why this thing... This thing's mad! Look how low it is! That is really, really low to the ground. It's a little bit awkward to drive when it comes, especially to the uh, to the whole counter steering thing. It just even though I made this thing, I'm 
drive like this. Those drag tires definitely help a huge, huge amount. It's weird, man. It's so weird, especially leaving everything like this. There we go. Yeah, mess messing with that. The camber and toe, hundred percent. Watch, watch me transform this thing completely. I left it for too long there. Yeah, watch me transform this thing completely. With a bit of camera and toe. I also really want to stiffen up <laughs> that suspension, even though it's kind of nice to drive like that. It's very, very close to like a jelly build, but yeah, anyway, let, let me mess around with some stuff. Alright, everyone. Simple but basic tune. Let's give this a shot. Getting this to love oversteer more and more though, so that's good. Power to weight ratio is kind of sucky on it. Oh, I messed up. That was my fault. That was my fault. Yeah, power of the weight in this thing is a little ee, wonky. We're rewinding. <laughs> We're rewinding. Come on. Really? I mean, I completely changed my approach here. Wow, look how early I lost control of this thing, which is mad, which I, I thought here I actually was still in control, but I lost it there. Kind of weird, but that's okay. Not the best of lines at all. A little bit all over the place here. What my driving line? Come on, man. Yeah, power of the weight is not great. Excuse that 400 and something thousand points of it. It like still doesn't want to accelerate. I changed my gear ratio so they're shorter, not as short. I still doesn't want to accelerate. A little odd, but yeah, it's uh, it's still quite easy to drive. It's not it's not like it's very very difficult to drive, but um, yeah, especially once you have a stupid tune on it. Look at that toe in the back as well. Um, yeah, but once you have a stupid tune on it like this, I feel like it's much much easier. You guys have seen me try to drive this thing stock and it just wouldn't want to oversteer. This thing now, you just sort of steer into a corner and accelerate, and you can see it trying to oversteer every single time you you turn your wheel and that's that's pretty much what I wanted with this thing so it's an interesting build it's a very very interesting build definitely not something that I expected to get a Ben Tiger to <laughs> try and pretty much turn into a drift car but or a drift SUV anyway that's pretty much it thank you guys very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you want to see more videos like this on the channel as usual don't forget to subscribe follow me on our social media links to those are down below and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.